you guys. So we ended up losing, and I did predict this. I didn't want us to lose, of course. I wanted to be pleasantly surprised. So let's talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. And as you know, um, the Dodgers aren't completely copacetic with us. And what I mean by that is they're not, you know, with us, not everything's simpatico. So, uh, you know, there was a potential blow up. What happened is Joe Kelly had lost all his control, but then at one point it seemed like he was faking it and pitched, I believe, at Bregman. Then he pitched at Correa, I mean, at them. And then I would have thought it's just a lack of control, but then Joe Kelly had a very immature reaction and was like, nan, nanny, boo-boo type thing to him, which proved to me intent, which shows intent. I don't know about his history and all, but I know about his intent. But he was on the 2018 Red Sox, so it didn't kind of make sense. But you can see there's a lot of whining and grind, uh, you know, like there's just you know, kind of crybaby mentality in the Dodgers locker room. That's neither here nor there. I'm open to you guys' opinions and observations. You guys hear me out. But nobody gets over the top or kind of wants to, like, scream and have the last word and think they're right. I'm just giving you my observation. I don't think I'm right or wrong. But also, you know, if somebody gets that all caps or screamy mentality or whatever, you know, then... I'm not really going to take it seriously because I'm just observing something that's going on in game five of the season. So let's look at the players here. Okay, George Springer struggling at the plate, obviously. Altuve, 0 for 4. Very disappointing. He did have a line drive to Justin Turner. Bregman, 0 for 2. Uh, you can see he had two bases on balls. Michael Brantley looked good as always. Gurriel, I thought looked good. Just didn't get a hit. Correa completely lights out. Reddick had one really good hit. Unfortunately, Seeger caught it. And then Kyle Tucker wasn't at the plate too, too much. Maldonado had an off day, but we know Maldonado's on fire. Uh, let's see who else we can talk about here. Framber Valdez. Framber Valdez looked very good. He was surprising to me. I thought he should have been pulled a little bit quicker. That's a matter of opinion. I'm not right. I'm not wrong. Whatever. But I thought he should have been pulled. I thought he should have been on a very short leash, metaphorically. And what I mean is he should have been pulled the second things go wrong because we know he's had control problems, endurance problems. and But unfortunately, it was hard to do, and it's kind of a judgment call because we had so many injuries and we have so many rookies with almost no appearances, like making their appearance for the first time. Okay, Paredes struggled I thought he looked okay, but he struggled. Scrub looked really good. And Rodriguez looked really good. So three out of these four pitchers actually looked pretty good. So let's go to the Dodgers. Okay. Mookie Betts, two hits, four at-bats. Uh, I believe one of them was an infield single. Not an infield single, but went between the infielders. Uh, he didn't square up any. Oh, no. He was the only guy, I think, that got. He did score almost square something up to left field. Beyond that, nobody squared up anything all day, which is a good sign for us. Max Muncy 0 for 4. Justin Turner had a decent game, 1 for 4. Cody Bellyacre, my favorite player in the league, went 1 for 5. We did our job, kept him at a 200 batting average. He is what he is. In his last at bat, swinging for the fences. Four out of the five pitches from what I saw, and he was swinging down low. He was swinging up high. And the, the finally, he ends up swinging up and away and gets the strike out of swing, a whiff. And so that's, that's kind of the player he is. And so even the announcers, two, three pitches in, were realizing what they were seeing and kind of made some comments about it, if you guys go back and watch that at bat. But he swings for the fences and misses. Chris Taylor, I believe, almost got an infield single. Corey Seager, four for two. Corey Seager had a couple, uh, or he had a couple good highlights. He ended the fifth inning, and it for us, and then he started the fifth inning for them, or something like that. He he basic. Oh no, the bottom of the fourth, he ended early for us, and then he started off the fifth inning, which their one and only inning they got runs. Uh, Kike Hernandez. Uh, which is really Enrique Hernandez, 1 for 4. Will Smith, 0 for 4. Okay, here's their pitchers. Walker Bueller, 3 and three and 2 thirds innings. Uh, 3 hits, 2 runs, 2 error or two earned runs. So if you look at that, that's like about a 5, 5.2 ERA, I believe. If I do my math right, 
Kalarik, you can see, only got through one batter. Bruzdar Gratterall, I thought looked really good. Joe Kelly, off, off, off. Not good at all. His control issues. Uh, Ferguson, I thought he looked pretty good. He hit his spots. Blake Trinan does what he does. He's basically, he, his, to me, his pitch repertoire kind of matches uh, Josh James a little bit, if you know what I mean. Fastball slider away, fastball slider away, fastball changeup. So that's what he looked like. Jansen does what he does there. Uh, beyond that, you know, I don't know what else to say about this game, but I can just say this, that if we don't put more than four hits together in a game, so it was really their pitching because we've been hitting 9, 10, 11 hits a game. So uh, that's what cost us the game. But really, the way they scored their runs is we put we uh, we walked several batters. I know for a fact we walked in two runs, which would have made it three to two. Also, one of their runs came on an infield single fielder's choice or an infielder fielder's choice that that uh, that Bregman had an error on at home plate. So that's that would have made it two to two. They did get a lot of singles. All hats off to them for winning the game. The bad news for them is we have to repeat this tomorrow. So we will see the Dodgers tomorrow. And that's my video. Take care.